Welcome to our feature clip demonstrating enhancements to user-defined fields and system tables in SAP Business One Release 9.2. When adding a user-defined field to an SAP Business One table, you can now link it to a system table, which allows you to create new and flexible business scenarios. There's no additional need to fill the user-defined field manually or retrieve it from existing master data and have it kept in sync. Now with direct access to the system object, the data is consistent and its integrity is maintained as there is only one single source of the truth for this user-defined field. A simple example is when Jason Butler from OEC Computers would like to create an activity for a phone call with a vendor where a new purchase quotation needs to be negotiated and quality issues of the last items ordered need to be discussed. Jason is able to link a goods receipt and a goods return document to the activity for easy reference during his call with the vendor. So let's see how this is executed in SAP Business One Release 9.2. We're now logged in to SAP Business One Release 9.2. Jason's initially going to navigate to Tools, Customization Tools, and then select User Defined Fields Management. This will open up the User Defined Fields Management window and from here we are able to select the master data in which we would like to attach the User Defined Fields to. And in this example it's going to be to our Activities window. By selecting Add we are now able to link a User Defined Field to the system table. Firstly we're going to link a goods receipt to the activity. We're going to create a title and a description. We're then going to select our validation, which is linked to entities. Here we then have the ability to link to a system object, set linked table, or link to a user-defined object. We're going to link to a system object, and from here we can select the system object as our goods receipt. The next system object we're going to link to our activities window is a goods return document. Again we select the appropriate validation and we select our correct system object. Now when Jason would like to create that activity for a phone call with his vendor, he simply selects business partner, activity, and if we go to view, view user defined fields, we can see that our goods receipt and our goods return has been linked to this particular activity window. So now when we select our business partner code, in this example it's going to be vendor Far East Imports, we can then open up and select a goods receipt list for Far East Imports and likewise select the appropriate goods return document that we would like to discuss with this vendor. So when Jason adds the activity to his calendar, when the phone call takes place, he will be able to immediately drill down and review the goods receipt and goods return information as a reference during his call with the vendor. This is a very simple example of how you can now link a user-defined field to a system table allowing you to create new and more flexible business processes.